is the Black Series, the Mandalorian electronic helmet. Isn't it beautiful? I'm gonna take it apart, make it ugly, put it back together, make it even uglier, and it's gonna be so cool. This thing's got a lot of screws. There's not that many different sizes, but just keep track of it. I disassembled this whole thing so I could tint the visor and add details to the inside. If that doesn't interest you, you can mask the outside and skip the whole disassembly. You can also skip right to about 5 minutes and 17 seconds in this video. I think the visor screws are just very slightly different, so keep an eye on them. The Mohawk clamps on in here, so work those tabs while you pinch it from the top. It took a little persuading. That crest sandwiches the faceplate on and it holds the two halves of the main helmet body together. The outside of the inside is actually pretty cool. I wouldn't mind seeing that on the outside of the outside. side of the top of the dome to the outside of the top of the dome.
gonna take some persuading. There's a clip in the back. These are called Badger Model Flex Railroad Airbrush Paint Weathering Colors. First I did matte black and then I did oil rubbed bronze, which is very dark but just a little bit metallic. I dry brushed generously with testers metallic silver.
I'm alternating between picking, tweezing, and just rubbing at it. So just do what works for you. Time to weather with some acrylics. I used black, I used spice brown, and I used rubbing alcohol for the first time. Why alcohol? I can't remember. I feel like I saw it somewhere. I wanted to try it out. First I drowned it, and then I took some of it back off with a shop rag. Shop rags have a little bit of texture, but no pattern on them. I didn't want that little pattern like paper towels have. The clips that took so much persuading to get off require persuading again to get reclipped.